the Bookmarks API has arrived. So bookmarks are internal or external resources such as websites, spreadsheets, documents, pinned messages, Slack channel messages, you name it. And with the Bookmarks API, developers can add, view, remove any bookmarks from a given channel programmatically. Let's take a closer look. This new API has four corresponding methods and two new scopes. Bookmarks.add to add a new bookmark onto the channel header. Bookmarks.list to view all the bookmarks in a given channel. Bookmarks.remove and Bookmarks.edit. To use these methods, you'll need the Bookmarks read and the Bookmarks write scopes. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick use case for the Bookmarks.add method. I created an app that enables the end user to create a new channel from a template. This template will have a set of bookmarks already added to its header. This could be useful for any instance where channels have to follow certain patterns, such as running incidents, onboarding a new customer, or creating a new project channel. These bookmarks could include other templates to help the stakeholders get started more efficiently, such as tech spec templates, scrum procedures, internal run books, etc. Once the user triggers the shortcut from any channel, they are prompted to select the name for their channel via a modal. After the view is submitted, the channel is created with its corresponding bookmarks and the creator of the channel is automatically invited into the channel. Pretty straightforward. So what does this look like for the developer? I'm calling conversations.create to create the channel. If the call to conversations.create is successful, my app will continue to call the bookmarks.add method. This method requires a channel ID that I get from the modal submission, a title for the bookmark, which is a string, and a bookmark type. For now, the only type that's supported is the link type, so that's what I'm using here. The link type also requires a link parameter, which is also a string. Soon, we'll support more bookmark types such as messages, files, and folders. So stay tuned. Documentation for this API is live now on api.slack.com. And as always, if you have questions or feedback, please reach out to us at feedback at slack.com. Bye.